this and you choke on it, that's your problem, not mine. Very day classe. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have some tea from Orange County, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on the race to 10K. We are so close. So please, if you are new, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. And guys, remember December 28th, we have the first house with Hunger Games. Go apply right now. Just subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media. Shoot me an email and that is that easy. Okay? You could be one of the eight people going head to head for $300. Well, guys, let's get into this mess because it is time to talk about newbie of Orange County, Elizabeth Vargas. And we are finally getting a glimpse of her past that it has been so secretive during this season. She went on an interview with Heather McDonald's on her podcast, Juicy Scoop, Scoop. Yep. And they talk about a bunch of things. But let's get into what is important, which is like she talks a little bit about her past, which we don't know anything about at this point. Because I mean, on the show, she couldn't speak too much okay we the only thing that we know is that she didn't have like any money growing up that um they that her parents had to work a lot and she that's why she had this desire of really becoming successful and having money because she didn't have anything when she was growing up and we on our minds we were like oh well maybe the world you know in the struggle you know um Maybe they have like a little house, you know, uh, her dad and her mom, maybe they, they just have to work, maybe two jobs or whatever, you know. That was where it was on her mind. Well, bitch, it is way more than that because basically she's saying that when she was a kid, um, so her grandmother was had actually a lot of money, right? But the reason why she had a lot of money it was because she owned owned one of those mega churches called styles what is wrong with cults and mega churches and housewife this is will be a third mega church story after pastor jamal mary cosby and now this shit so basically she says that she the grandmother she didn't run the church she owned the church and it she was one of those pastors who took the offering for herself and then go on and live in a huge mansion. But it goes worse than that because she didn't ask people to give her, there is a, a word for this that I don't know in English, but it's like uh, people who goes to these churches, they have to give 10% of their monthly income to the church. It's like a rule usually. In this church, people didn't have to give the 10%. They need to give the whole income to the church. In exchange, they will all live in this huge ranch where the mansion was, but they all live in trailers. And or even like on the on the floor, like they were homeless while the grandmother was living on the big house. So this was like a cult. She's saying it like this was like a cult right there. Um then uh, she never. Oh, and then she never shared her wealth with no one from her family, from not even her immediate family. Meaning, um, you know, Elizabeth's mom and dad and everything. So that's why they. It was like incredibly poor. Like we are talking poor, poor, poor. That's how they live. Um, apparently, the grandma died. Um, I don't know what happened with all the money, honestly. She didn't say anything about that. But she says that she died from uh, constipation, which was a very suitable way to die, giving everything that she was doing uh, with that church and stealing so much money from everyone. And that's why she also has a very weird relationship with religion because she got, she got PTS from living over there. So guys i mean this was a cult and you know that the things that happen inside a cult are fucked up she even said i think she said it on the show that she want she didn't want to talk too much about her past 
or people digging up onto her past because she had so really messed up shit happening on her past. And I think this is one of those shitty things because cults are, I mean, that's like a serial, serious thing right there. Um, she, uh, then they say that she was supposed to become a preacher for the church, but then she decided to leave and she ended up being a jazz vocalist. And that's how she finally ended up meeting her ex-husband, which they were together for 20 years, okay? So it was like a really serious, real, long marriage because a lot of people were also saying like, oh, she's like a gold digger, she's this, she's that. She was on this relationship for 20 years. Mm. Sorry, guys. So it was like a very, very big deal right there. And that's basically what she was talking about her past. I mean, guys, honestly, I, again, I don't know what is with these religions. I mean, the more we discover about them, it's just crazier and crazier. She promises that we will be seeing a lot more of who she really is, not only on this season, but like in the future. Now she's finally over with the divorce. She doesn't have a gag order anymore, so she can now talk about everything that is happening to her. But she wanted people to understand that while she was uh, filming post Corona, she couldn't talk because it was a lot of money involved. And she was, you know, uh, from her lawyers and everything, she just couldn't talk about specific situations. It sucked, it happened when it was filming, but now it's time to move on because she is ready to share a lot more of who she really is. That's it guys, that's the little tea that I have for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you a fan of Elizabeth? Do you like her? What do you think about her? I personally, I'm enjoying her a lot. I like people who kind of like are outspoken but also respectful but also like you know funny and i think she honestly i think that she has what it takes to become huge on housewife of orange county so we'll see let me know guys on the on the comments below don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my channel guys true you are dismissed and i'll see you around see ya